All right, so in this video, we're going to look at how you can use data in Excel to create a map. So in this case, I have some survey data that has uh, state information included in each of the observations. Now, you can't really work from raw data uh, in the same way that you can't make a pie chart from raw data. But what we can do is we can summarize this data and then we can put that into a map. So I'm going to create a pivot table first for our data. Pivot table. Let's put the table right here. And then We're going to put a state in the rows, and then we're going to measure something. Let's try salary, I guess, in the values. Now, we don't really want the sum of salary because that will be affected by the number of people in each category. Um, we could also just put um, the state again if we just wanted the count of people in each of the states. But what we can do is we can change this to something uh, a little bit better for us. We could uh, include something like the average or um, the standard deviation or something like that. I'm going to use the average. And then I'm going to format this as dollars. Great. So now that I have my table, and again, we're not going to use the grand sal the grand total information. That's the overall average. Um, I'm going to copy and paste my data over here so that I can break the connection with the original table. Um, sometimes uh, the effect doesn't quite work as well if you're still linked to the pivot table. And I'm going to highlight the data I want to plot that has, again, just the state information. Now, from here, once I have my data summarized, I can go to Insert and Recommend to Charts. And you'll see that the map comes up as an option. So you don't even have to have a complete list of states. And what it will do is it will create a little legend for you that shows you the range of values. And then it will plot whatever information it has available. Um, now, you can do this with states with county information, or you can also do this with national information. If you have um, the names of countries, you can also do this on a global map. But here we just have U.S. states, and so Excel is identifying these as U.S. states, and so it's giving us a map of the United States to fill in, and we just click OK. And as with any good chart, we want to give it a nice title. So average salaries of respondents by state. Great. So that's an example where we don't have all of the states. I've also downloaded information from the Bureau of Labor Statistics on unemployment rate by state for all of the states. And we can also make a map of that. So again, highlight the data, go to insert, recommended charts. And you can see in this case, it's filled in all of the states for us. Map of unemployment rates by state. And if we don't really like the coloring, we can also play around with color choices. Orange, red, greens, maybe we prefer purple. Um, they, sh they will all be scales. They should all be scales um, because the issue is that we want um, we want the scale to mean something. So in a gray scale, the states that have the highest unemployment rate um, will be in black and the ones with the smallest unemployment rate will be in nearly uh, white, pale, pale gray. So we can see from this map that 
Uh, Maryland is the state that has the lowest unemployment rate in this data. And it looks like Nevada might have the highest. Yes, Nevada is the highest. And in this case, uh, DC is plot is in the, the list of data, um, but you can't really see it because it's teeny tiny. Great, so that's how we create a map using Excel.